from this to this. Solid hinges with a nice even reveal. For this simple DIY task, you're going to need a combi drill, handsaw, hammer, 10mm drill bit, 3mm drill bit, two dowels, super glue, and the appropriate screws. Also going to need the appropriate screwdriver type. I'm going to be using a PZ2 and I'll insert an image of a PZ2 type screwdriver bit for you to see. Uh, so what we're going to be doing first is we're going to be removing these two screws and these two screws here on the hinges. And the reason why we're going to be doing that, as you can see, there's a lot of slop and movement in here. It doesn't matter how much we tighten these screws, eventually they come loose. That's because the thread within the chipboard, which is a really weak material, is just breaking down so you can't tighten it up. After we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to fix these reveals which go around the cabinet. As you can see, these look terrible. You can see the holes, they don't look too bad, but what's happened is the chipboard has broken down inside the hole and the screw cannot can now not grip. So what we're going to do is, we're going to use the 10 mil drill bit, we'll put a bit of tape on here, about 10 millimetres to 10 to 12 millimetres in, so we don't go too deep uh, through into our fridge. And we're going to drill that hole out, then we're going to insert a 10 mil dowel into there, and we're going to put some super glue on this so it dries quickly, but you could use PVA glue if you wanted to. Dowels are great because they're made out of solid beach, so that's going to give us a real good strong fixing for our screw to go into the cabinet. <laughs> You'll have noticed I was going really steady when I was drilling these holes and that's because we're using a brad point drill bit which is designed to cut through wood but these are these are quite aggressive drill bits and if I go too hard the drill bit will just grab hold of the wood and it'll just pull it straight through. So I'm actually starting off in reverse and just going really slowly and then building it up very slightly and I'm almost not even pushing on the drill I'm almost pulling back slightly and that's just going to make sure that I don't go all the way through into my fridge. Grabbing hold there, see how it wanted to go in. So I'll just go in reverse, really steady. There you go. Take your 10 mil dowel, put some super glue on it. Place it in the hole. Remove any excess super glue with a little bit of tissue. Take your small handsaw and just carefully remove the dowel. So your dowel's nice and flush. The remainder of the dowel, because I'm a tight Yorkshireman, I'm not going to put a second dowel in. I'm going to use the same one. I'm going to place that into the next hole. Just rotate it so I get good glue coverage. Tap it all the way in and remove the excess, cutting it flush. Simple as that. Nice solid fixing. I've now got the three mil drill bit in and I'm going to pilot hole directly into the center of the dowel. The screws that we're going to be using is a PZ2 type and they're 3.5 millimetres in thickness and the length is 16 millimetres. If you've got a second person to help you, this would be handy at this stage. i start off by putting my top two screws in first. And just nip them up, don't over tighten. Now that the hinges are nice and solid and we've got a strong fix in, we can adjust them now so we can get this reveal all the way around the outside nice and even. There's literally thousands of different types of these concealed hinges, however they all adjust in very similar ways. So you get three different types of adjustment. These two screws here are going to move the cabinet door up and down. There's one inside, just inside this gap here, which is going to move it right and left. And then there's one at the back here, which is going to pull it forwards and backwards. So you can make slight adjustments to each one of these screws to get your reveal perfectly how you want it. So I'm going to make some adjustments to this one now. Looking at this one then, the first adjustment I need to make is I want to make this gap a little bit smaller so it's more the same as the other two. So I'm going to loosen these off slightly. Raise the whole cabinet door up and then tighten them back up. These are pretty difficult to get 
absolutely bang on, so I won't beat yourself up too much if you can't get it perfect, but get it pretty good. That's a nice tight gap along the top now, and if you look down here, you can see we've got a big gap here, so I think what we need to do is bring this bottom of this cabinet door slightly this way. That's going to be this inside screw here, so I'm just going to find the screw. I'll do this opposite one as well. That's a lot better already, isn't it? Yeah. I hope you found that video useful, and if you did, please like and subscribe for more DIY and woodworking videos. Uh, to all our Patreon supporters and channel members, thanks very much, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.